Hello, my name is Eric J. Dolan, and I would like to tell you a little bit about my new book, Fur, Fortune, and Empire, The Epic History of the Fur Trade in America, published by W. W. Norton. The fur trade was a powerful force in shaping the course of American history from the early 1600s through the late 1800s, playing a major role in the settlement and evolution of the colonies and in the growth of the United States. Driven by the demands and vanities of fashion, tens of thousands of men killed tens of millions of beavers, sea otters, buffaloes, and a host of other animals for their beautiful pelts, which were used to make expensive hats, coats, and sleigh blankets. This relentless pursuit of furs left in its wake a dramatic, often tragic tale of clashing cultures, fluctuating fortunes, and bloody wars. In time, the fur trade determined the course of empire. It spurred the colonization of eastern North America, and the fierce competition to control the region's fur trade pitted European nations against one another, transforming the New World into a battleground, and ultimately leading to the expulsion of the Swedes, Dutch, and the French from the continent. Disputes over the fur trade were also a factor in causing the American Revolution and the War of 1812, and as the trade spread to the shores of the Pacific, it became a critical force in expanding the United States and establishing its boundaries, especially in the Northwest. Fur traders and trappers were typically the first white men the Indians had ever seen, and the dynamics of the fur trade dramatically influenced their culture, often for the worse. No less affected was a whole host of North American species as the trade swept like a lethal wave over the land. Although the traffic in furs never caused the extinction of a species, in a few cases it came mighty close. Much more than a recounting of economic, military, cultural, and ecological influences, however, the story of the American fur trade boasts a cast beyond the scope of a Hollywood epic. At once, the honest and the twisted, hedonists and visionaries, founding fathers and prodigal sons, and perhaps the most memorable characters of all are the animals that made the fur trade possible, especially the beaver, the sea otter, and the buffalo. Fur Fortune and Empire concludes near the end of the 19th century with the implementation of the first laws regulating the killing of fur-bearing animals and the rise of the conservation movement. This book, therefore, does not address the American fur trade as it evolved during the 20th and 21st centuries, nor does it cover the current highly charged political and ethical debate over animal rights and the propriety, or many would say, the impropriety of wearing fur. What it does offer is the extraordinary story of the fur trade of old when the rallying cry was, get the furs while they last. Over time, as the thrill and immediacy of the present crowd out the echoes and lessons of the past, it is all too common for people to lose touch with their heritage. It would be a shame if that were to happen with respect to the fur trade. It is a seminal part of who we are as a nation and how we came to be. I hope you enjoy Fur, Fortune, and Empire.